Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be messages for the collective. Okay. Let me adjust that. All right. So let's see. What's the message here? See what the message spirit has for you today. What is the messages here, spirit? What is the message here? Got something flipped over. What's the, okay. Four of Cups. All right. So the Four of Cups is rejection, a missed opportunity, not wanting to take an offer. Boredom, complacency, discontent, meant, okay. Yeah, I'm getting your bored in your life and you want to take a leap of faith. You want to do something different. You're tired of the, of the status quo, of the, of the mutane, okay. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. I'm getting just like, you're just bored. Slow as work. Everything is moving slow in your life. You seem to not have any real passion. You're just ready to do something new here. Yeah, the judgment in the Six of Cups with the Page of Cups. So the fool, I'm getting judgment. I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting spirit is, is pushing you to take a leap of faith here towards someone. This could be a water sign from your past that you may want to apologize to. You may want to reconcile with. You want a second chance with. But you may feel like you took too long to make an offer. Or maybe you rejected this person in the past or... Whatever, or it could be all of those things. What's the messages here? What's the messages here? Spirit, guides, angels, universe. What's the messages? Yeah, the hangman. That's seeing things from a different perspective. Maybe you're seeing things differently now. You have the three of pentacles. I'm getting you're being very methodical here, very strategic. You're not showing all your cards. You're trying to be very strategic with how you approach someone because you're not trying to be uh, rejected here. Or, or this is how someone feels towards you. Three of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Eight of Wands. I'm getting you like a secret society or something like that. You have the judgment. I'm getting somebody's having a spiritual awakening. You have the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. This is someone very stable, could be a Virgo or an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this is someone that's very stable, very down to earth, very practical very abundant, very well off. Somebody could be a millionaire or just very, very comfortable financially. Very, very comfortable financially. Someone very well off, a business owner, an entrepreneur, somebody that worked very hard to get where it is that they are. This period, a very, very, very valuable person. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles is a mother. She's a wife. Yeah, the fool. Yeah, spirit is really, really pushing someone to stop moving so slow, stop being stuck, and to take a leap of faith towards someone. Here, maybe it's towards this business owner, this queen of pentacles. Maybe you're wanting to. Yeah, the emperor. That's somebody who's taking charge. That's the one who takes charge. Yeah, two of cups. I'm getting somebody, when the emperor sets, sets his mind on something, he goes for that. I'm getting somebody manning up. Spirit is telling someone to man up and to take a leap of faith towards someone because Aries don't fuck around. I mean, the emperor doesn't. Just because somebody's an Aries doesn't mean that the emperor. 
This could be a, a um uh uh Aries or a Scorpio. Scorpio energy is here. Yeah, two of cups and the six of wands. Somebody knows that they have to man up in order to take the sleep of faith. Somebody is being very strategic because they know they have to come correct. Somebody is they want to make sure that they don't get a no here. <laughs> Whatever this this offer is, whatever it is, is solid and it's long term because the Knight of Pentacles may be the slowest moving energy in the deck, but it is solid. It's something you can taste, touch, and feel, something tangible. And the Emperor, we all know he don't play around. The Emperor goes, look at that, the Empress. Divine counterparts. Spirit is pushing someone to take a leap of faith towards their divine counterpart. Somebody is also making a sound judgment that this is what they're going to do. They're going to take the lead. The emperor's taking the lead, taking control, um, and doing what somebody feels like they've set on this long enough. That it's time that they, they moved slow long enough or, or that they did the wrong thing rejecting this offer that you tried, you may have tried to offer them in the past here or vice versa. Somebody's realizing that it's time to step up. Yes, the Ace of Cups. I'm also getting something about a spirit baby that is going to be made between two people. Somebody wants a divine grant of a second chance with you. They want to come towards you. It's like someone knows they're enlightened. They're well aware. Okay, with that, with the hangman, okay, and the judgment. Somebody's had a spiritual awakening, especially with this Ace of Cups and these doves that are here, these wings. This is very spiritual in energy. So the, the full card is very spiritual as well. So there's like a spiritual upgrade that somebody is going through, a spiritual transformation that someone is going through. And they are now realizing that this person is the one for them. Some of you could be meeting. This would also be... Um, representation of a meaning of two people, two souls, two divine counterparts that are coming together because aces can represent, although it can be a renewal or some form of forgiveness, it could also be something new. A divine gift from the universe because it looks like with these angel wings that spirit guides are bringing two people together that are destined to be together. Two people that are whole within themselves so that they can come together and be exactly what they need to be for each other in the most healthiest way okay this is a divine this is divinely orchestrated and sometimes the hey man can also means that the universe is putting something on pause and sitting next to the judgment i feel like that's exactly what the universe did until somebody grew the fuck up and knew that who they were coming towards or what they were doing or, or maybe two people needed to go through spiritual initiations without each other and then to come together to have something. I'm getting two people are going to share a very spiritual path here together. And like I said, the energy is different for some of you because I'm reading for thousands of people. It's going to be a new connection that is coming together to, here very soon and for others this is going to be a reconciliation with someone but trust me if this person is coming towards you spirit has has or is going to change this person this person is not coming back to you the same way that they uh you last knew them and that's for people for who who this is going to be a reconciliation for okay yeah, the Four of Swords. I'm getting this is also an older couple, maybe a grandfather, grandmother that is being called home. I'm getting the, maybe two people may have been sick here or in the hospital. I'm getting the plug maybe getting pulled here. Two people may be wanting to go home. I'm getting two people that are going to hold hand, hands together and, and kind of pass over together. I know that was deep, but that's a message for, for somebody out there. Okay. 
And the Ace of Wands is clarity. So that was just, I know that was totally random, but let's keep going. I'm getting there's, there's, yeah, the temperance, Sagittarius energy. So we have Pisces, Aries, Libra with the Empress, and we have Sagittarius. I'm getting a lot of healing that needed to take place here. I'm getting the I'm getting all these wings. This is a very divinely guided relationship. Two counterparts that were are perfect for each other. The Tempest is like the perfect blending of energies. You two are going to be perfect together. You're going to be um you're going to look very well together as well. If you were bored, if things seem to have been moving slow in your life, you're just all about work, focused on work and you, and nothing else. I'm getting some excitement is about to happen here. I'm getting a love, a divine counterpart that you're going to meet by chance. The spirit guides absolutely brought you two together here. Okay. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. And the four pentacles in the reverse with the higher front. So, okay. Somebody, yeah, there's a lot of clarity here with the ace of swords. Somebody, I'm getting that somebody, you know, if, if somebody was in a relationship, I'm getting somebody's bored. Maybe it's in a marriage or in a higher level of commitment. It doesn't have to be marriage. Just two people that's been together a long time. You know what I'm saying? It's basically like a marriage. I'm getting somebody's letting go of that four pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's bored or discontent or they, they, it's just too mundane. It's just too mundane or too, it's, it's just, the shit is just boring as fuck. Just basically somebody's realizing who their divine counterpart. Somebody's having very much a spiritual awakening instead of being somebody being so earthly and practical i'm getting spirit is calling judgment upon someone to change them and to align them for the divine counterpart to come correct somebody is being healed here somebody is being being taught to call upon spirit to be more spiritual to call on to believe in god somebody's being pushed to let go of something that is no longer serving them I'm getting this offer that someone is making toward you or you to them has been a long time coming here because the Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving. The slowest snail paced. But I'm getting it's here now. Somebody had to be awakened and somebody also had to let go of something else that was no longer serving them that they weren't ha happy. in, And like I said, this could be a marriage or whatever. What's the messages here? What's the messages? Something flipped over. Did it? Did it? Yep. Three of swords. Okay, so there's heartbreak here. I'm getting there's going to be a separation, a breakup or a divorce or whatever. It's different for everybody. A separation. I'm getting... There's going to be a truth spoken that somebody is, they're just no longer happy. They no longer want this, that they, they're they moving towards something else I'm getting. You have to speak the truth. If you're leaving a situation behind to go towards someone else, you can't sneak out of this one. Spirit will not allow it. You will be called, judgment will be called down upon you. I'm getting somebody here has a lot of, um, somebody's going through an ego death and somebody has a lot of, uh, karmic debt they have to pay out and a lot of things that they have to do by, by the book with the judgment here. You're being called by the spirit guides to handle certain situations a certain way. If there's an ending you need to put to a situation, then you need to be honest about why you're moving forward. You need to give clarity and truth so that you can move forward with your divine counterpart with integrity. Because I'm doing, I'm getting somebody here did a lot of sinister, dark, devilish um. Lack of, lack of integrity type shit in the past. 
And I'm getting spirit is not no longer allowing that to take place here. Yeah, somebody, King of Swords, somebody has to be honest, truthful, upfront about any and everything. Whether it was putting them in a third party, lying about a marriage, lying about a long-term commitment that was like a marriage, whatever it was. Cheating, lying, whatever it was, somebody has to come clean. Ace of Swords, full card, clean slate in order to come towards this person or in order to reconcile with this person. Because the Ace of Swords can also be a reconciliation. Somebody has to be honest and truthful. Yeah, we have the devil behind that. I'm getting somebody, um, this ex, somebody that's crying or mourning over you. This is the same person that could have been very cold, very closed off. Somebody that rejected you. Somebody that lied, broke your heart, that was very de um, devilish with the devil card. This could be somebody that's in the mil military or ex-military. Okay? Somebody that somebody that was just very much a narcissist, very narcissistic, someone that's a tyrant, somebody that's very verb verbally abusive as well. This could have been this person or is. What's the messages? What's the three of swords right here? What's the three of swords? Yeah, we got justice. Somebody could be a, a double Libra. Libra here is here heavy. So a Libra could be significant. A Pisces, a Sagittarius, an Aries. I'm hearing Taurus too. All right. But yeah, it's justice here. There's karma. This is karma season. Someone's receiving karma. It's somebody's karmic debt to speak truthfully. Yeah, there's a divorce, three of swords and a justice. Somebody has to re has to speak the truth that they are ready to move on, that they feel like someone else is their divine counterpart, that they'd rather be elsewhere. Somebody has to karmically do this in order to move into toward who they want to go towards or somebody's going to watch somebody move on with someone else. So that message is specific for some of you. Somebody's also thinking about something that they did in the past selfishly for their own selfish gains. Somebody's reaping what they sow. Somebody's hiding something about something about sex or something about a disease possibly. But somebody's very much regretting with this five of cups energy, something that they did in the past here. To be hateful, nasty, to be uh, um, vindictive or whatever this is. Somebody also feels like they messed Missed out on somebody very abundant, beautiful, self-sufficient, a business owner, very well off. All somebody does is think about this, this, this new beginning with this person. There is a divorce that's happening here. And someone's choosing to take a leap of faith towards someone they feel is their divine counterpart. Or somebody's about to, to, to you're going through a breakup here or divorce and, and you're, and you're going to be going into a relationship with your true divine counterpart. Okay. And the way these cards fucking flew out, honey. So, yeah, we have the Two of Cups here and the Five of Wands. I'm getting there's going to be a very, very nasty divorce here. But I'm getting somebody's willing to fight or do whatever it takes to get toward, to go towards this person. Somebody, I mean, emperor to the emperor. Somebody feels like this is their divine counterpart. They can't help but feel that way. Spirit is pushing them and enlightening them. Someone's had a spiritual awakening or they're going through it now. They're realizing they have to let go of this, what no longer serves them, serves them what's not making them happy. Two of cups. That's the divine counterpart. Emperor to the empress. What's the five of wands? Somebody is willing to fight for a connection now. What's the five of wands? Yeah, the will of fortune. I'm getting the tables of turned. I'm getting divine timing. Now's the time.
for two souls to to merge here. This is either reconciliation and healing of something, or this is um, or this is um a new love that you're aligned to be with, and then now it's time for you to come in to meet this person. But I'm not going to lie, I'm getting a lot of reconciliation energy because the three of swords could be an ex. Somebody that's heartbroken, sad, that lost you, that wants to come back in. Yeah, the sun card. Leo energy and the ace of wands. We have the sun and the moon here. So I'm getting somebody, yeah, someone's gained a lot of clarity. Someone could be very, with the empress, that's the most beautiful and powerful woman in the deck. I'm getting somebody's radiant. Somebody could have long... Uh, uh, dreads or this long curly hair, kinky hair, beautiful eyes, beautiful skin. Just very, very radiant. A very, I'm just getting a lot of vitality, a very youthful, fun, beautiful energy because the Empress could be someone 35 to 45, but the Empress always looks 10 years younger than her age. So somebody very beautiful. Very. We have the Seven of Wands. I'm getting somebody that somebody's willing to fight for you, defend you, stand up for you, stand up for this connection. I'm getting somebody realizes that they're in love with you. Somebody feels like they have to make something just and fair. They have to speak a the truth. They have to do right by you. I'm sp I'm getting spirit is pushing them to. Someone's having a spiritual awakening. Somebody realizes they have to let go of people, places, and things in order to go towards their happiness. Possessions, they can't live an earthly possessive life. The four of pentacles can be somebody very possessive or greedy. They have to let go of that. My left ear is kind of ringing, so that's confirmation. Yeah, six of pentacles. And the lovers. I'm getting somebody was pouring into a lot of different multiple lovers here. Given to a lot. Somebody could even been paying for sex here. I'm getting somebody's got to keep, get that under control with the strength card. Somebody's got to control their sexual urges. They're being forced to by the universe. If somebody continues to live, try to live a promiscuous life, fucking with different females and doing dirty ass shit, somebody here is going to, um, going to live in a life of poverty if, or in a, in a lot of struggle. Because that is no longer their life. They can no longer live that way. Somebody's facing judgment and karma. For in with karma is here twice. Well, three times. Judgment, car um, the justice and the will of fortune. For for third parties or or sexual escapades or paying for sex or prostitute, whatever it could have been. Somebody's being judged heavily here. And it's and it's going to be in their mental health, their pockets, amongst other things, even maybe even their health. Somebody has to change here. They can no longer live the life that they were living. They have to correct themselves. They have to come correct. They have to apologize. And they have to come towards and 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 and, and come towards this divine feminine, this twin flame with truth and honesty and respect like they should have done in the first place. Yeah, judgment, ace of pentacles, eight of wands. I mean, Tower, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's coming in all of a sudden. Yeah, the Two of Swords. I'm getting there's a lot behind the scenes that somebody not may not be aware of. A lot of arguing and fighting. I'm getting somebody's trying to release themselves from a situation here to come towards you or they're, they're being awakened. I mean, if you're a high priestess, you know exactly what's going on. But if you're not, then this is what it is. This person is trying to figure out and plan on how to come towards you. I'm getting two of wands energy. Yeah, king of wands. This is two of swords. Yeah, the eight of wands. That's what I got. Like, you don't even see this coming. But somebody is um is is moving towards you. Somebody could be traveling. Yeah, the nine of swords. Somebody is very, very worried about this communication or sending this towards you. Or or like somebody, it's like somebody's trying to wait for the right, right time. There is no fucking right time. If you're going to reach out, go do it. Somebody's worried that you're going to 
argue with them or cuss them out or or something, maybe even block them or not respond. Somebody's afraid of you rejecting them. Somebody is afraid of you leaving them on red, basically. Or that, or you could have blocked this person. So this person may not know how to get in contact with you because you've blocked them. And somebody is shaking in their boots, though. Somebody is worried. What's the messages? Okay, yeah, we have the page of cups about this apology. They should be because they're trying to offer you a fucking cup with a, with a piece of sushi in it. You don't want no damn sushi. Okay. You don't want no sushi, baby. Where that steak, that lobster, that motherfucking king crab at, baby. Where the fuck that's at? Okay. Sushi is cool. You feel me? But come on, man. I'm getting somebody wants to fight for you now and, and all this, but they coming in. Come on, what's this page of cups? What is this page of cups, man? What's the page of cups, spirit guides, angels, universe? You have the six of cups. This is someone from the past, someone you're definitely familiar with. This could be somebody that's very emotionally immature, okay? Somebody that could even be younger than you. But here they are. Okay. Yeah, I'm seven of the wands. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm getting you, I'm getting you blocked somebody here. Somebody's worried about communicating with you and you blocking them or you or, or something. Somebody wants to fight for you. Somebody wants to be with you. Okay, the Page of Cups can also be like flirting and offer. But look, the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody, a, a Page of Cups is offering the Queen of Pentacles here. But I'm getting this person is, they 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 are growing into the emperor or they have. I'm just getting that somebody, um, okay, they, 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 could, they could be just somebody that's not the best with expressing their emotions. They could be somebody that's very closed off. But somebody does want to. With the Two of Cups, Page of Cups, it's like somebody wants to tell you that they love you. They want to tell you how they want to express them. They may never, they may have never told you that they love you. Or they may have difficulties expressing that. But this is somebody that does. They do care about you. They're very nostalgic about you. They reminisce about you all the time. This person is always thinking about you with the Six of Cups. Okay. Let me drink some water for my... I'm getting flowers. Somebody wants to bring you flowers. This is somebody that wants to smell good and look good for you. Okay. What's the page of cups and the six of cups? Yeah, the six of pentacles. The queen of swords, yeah. Yeah, the world... In the reverse, yeah, this is the cycle. Somebody doesn't want to end out with you. They can't. This is someone that wants to date you. I'm getting flowers or or something. What's the Six of Pentacles? What's the Six of Pentacles? I'm getting something about a charity here as well. Some of you could be, um, you, some of you could have a, a like a charity for children here, like a nonprofit organization or some, something like that. But we have the star here, yeah. Aquarius energy here, Libra energy, Aries energy, okay? Could be um, a Pisces, an, an Aquarius, a Sagittarius, a Cancer, anybody. Yeah, somebody sees you as their wish. This is a very much a past life uh, relationship. There's a contract here between two people that has to be lived out in, in um, on this earth. A very spiritual path that two people have to live out together whether this is new love coming towards you or reconciliation from of someone from the past but the judgment the six of cups and the ace of swords and the three of swords, i'm getting an x i'm getting a reconciliation here for a lot of you all right yeah the knight of swords the king of pentacles yeah the chariot this is moving things forward. This person wants to move things forward. They want to take charge and move things forward here. 
the moon this person has went through that, that has done a whole lot of contemplating look at this energy a whole lot of thinking a whole lot of dark night of the soul where they're going through it now someone is literally haunted by thoughts of you this pre-empress empress energy somebody very abundant somebody wants to get, they want to invest in you they want to like they want an, an equal give and take. Yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody wants a family with you. Okay? Somebody sees the kids, the dogs, the cats, the farms, and all that other shit with you. They see the end all be all. You're their wish. They're the one, you're the one that they want to marry. The Emperor to the Empress, the Two of Cups. You're the one that they see themselves being married to. Somebody wants to move things into karma waters with you. Six of swords, the king of cups, six of wands, and the lovers. Somebody wants victory with you. They want to reconcile. Somebody's in love with you deeply, like real deep, okay? And they know that, okay? So there's a queen of cups in the reverse here. So there, there so this could be this could be someone that, that that they are fighting with. There's a lot of fights and disagreements. Okay, this could be someone that, for some people that someone's been with for a long time or even married to. If not, it's just a long term relationship here. Also, there could be child support involved. Someone could be having to pay child support or they could be getting um, justice with it. The, it could be a legal situation with the justice card here regarding a divorce and child support. I'm getting somebody's going to be granted that because there's definitely a ties being broken in a family dynamic somebody's deciding to move forward okay but yeah the ace of pentacles There's definitely something about an inheritance or a large sum of money or an offering being made here. Okay. I'm getting somebody maybe offering someone money as like a reconciliation or a gift. Someone sees someone as very abundant, as very, as a gift, as a great investment. Someone just sees someone as long term, like, yeah, the Knight of Swords. Okay. So what is this Queen of Cups in reverse? What is this Queen of Cups in the reverse, please, Spirit? Queen of Cups in the reverse. What is she doing? Yeah, I'm getting somebody's moving on. This person, there's someone that's moving on from someone. Queen of Cups in reverse is very emotionally manipulative, okay? Someone that comes off very sweet and loving, but this is someone who's very emotionally manipulative, someone very argumentative, someone that could drink a lot, very mentally unstable. I'm getting this. There is a queen of cups in reverse somewhere that know somewhere that knows that this masculine is moving towards their divine counterpart. Yeah, the eight of pentacles. Somebody could be leaving a job. This could be a work situation. Two people were working together. I'm getting that's over. Someone wants to move forward. I'm getting one person still wants to offer their cup, but somebody else just does not. Someone's just in love with someone else. Yeah, we have the Eight of Cups walking away. Someone feels like their true abundance is somewhere else. Someone is Six of Swords, Eight of Cups, they're, they're moving on. Or someone has or they're going to. Somebody feels like they, they discover better or that they, yeah, the lovers. What's the lovers in the page of wands? The strength. What's the strength of lovers in the page of wands? Strength, lovers, pain. Oh, my gosh. My gosh. Hold on, y'all. Let me make sure I drop eight more cards. Okay. And this is a whole stack of shit. Okay, yeah. All right. So, I'm just getting a very karmic relationship here. 
I'm getting a relationship that 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 is was ran by lust, sexuality. Uh, uh, somebody wanted attention. I'm getting I'm getting two people that were karmically bonded to each other through sex. Is that's breaking? I'm getting the passion is gone here. There's no more passion. There's arguments, fights. There's a lot of jealousy here. There's a lot of lies and secrets. I'm getting somebody, yeah, the death in the world. I'm getting that's over. I'm getting somebody that they don't have any more options or they don't want these options that they got. Okay, yeah, the page of swords. Somebody's looking, still looking out at this connection over here. Yeah, I'm getting the ending of a of a of a home, a living situation, a home, a marriage. There's no more sex attention. There's no more emotions or anything in a relationship. Somebody, somebody's just too focused on going elsewhere. Yeah, four of wands in the reverse, and right behind, after that is the three of wands upright. Somebody's looking back at the future. Somebody's leaving this home. This the the this home, this marriage, this whatever, all of this shit is being left in the past. I'm getting very heavy fire energy. Could be Sagittarius with this nine of wands, knight of wands, three of wands, four of wands in reverse. Very fire heavy, it very heavy fire energy. Somebody is if somebody's got a heavy fire placement in their chart, or if you are a fire sign, I'm hearing Sag specifically. This could be a Scorpio, or this could be a Libra or anybody or anybody on the cusp, but I'm getting somebody is taking a lead. Somebody's is, 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 yeah. I'm also getting, okay. Yeah, the five of cups. Somebody also, yeah, regrets something they did here out of spite or to be vindictive or nasty or for sexual reasons or because there was a sexual connection or pool. I'm getting that same sexual pool that brought two people together is now over or or long term ramifications are, are happening here from from a uh, a few minutes pleasure yeah i don't know why i'm hearing something about the military yeah the high priestess the moon somebody is hiding a lot of shit here Somebody knows, someone knows about these secrets too. Okay. But yeah, we have the king to the queen of swords and the three of uh, pentacles. So usually the king to the queen of swords is uh, two people that are not getting along very well. These could be two people stuck in some kind of contract together. What's the king to the queen of swords? Okay, yeah, we have the Ten of Wands that is very burdensome. Okay, somebody feels very, very weighed down. Somebody feels obligated to this contract, but they feel such a pull and such a attraction towards someone else. Okay. Yeah, we have the Magician and the Ten of Swords. Somebody's really, really, really on their phone up at night, refreshing the page, watching somebody obsessed with their ass. What's the Magician? I'm getting Devil energy here. Did, 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 the, did the Devil card come out? Let's see. Yeah, the Magician. What's the, the Five of Pentacles? What's that? I'm getting somebody's very insecure and not out in the cold here. Because someone else is doing very well financially. Somebody could be in the spotlight, a star, okay, of some sort. But somebody is um not doing well. I'm getting there was a betrayal here. And somebody got ghosted or left out in the cold or somebody's going to. Somebody's just leaving, dropping all these burdens, this contract, these people, this house, this home. And someone's moving on. Yeah, the high priestess. The King of Pentacles, Three of Cups. I'm getting there. Somebody on stage or in the spotlight. Yeah, somebody wants to move in with you. Somebody wants to commit to you, offer something to you. There's somebody, there could be a spiritualist that's a business owner. Somebody that's a star in the public eye or highly celebrated here. That somebody wants to go after. They feel like this person is inspiring. They feel like this person helps open them spiritually. They feel like this person teaches them or makes them aware or enlightens them. They feel like this person can change their life for the better. And they feel like all that is here is like lack. 
arguing, fighting, lies, cheating. There's no passion. Two people that don't get along, king to the queen of swords. It's just misery, discontent, unhappiness. Somebody's letting go of that. There's going to be a divorce or a breakup here, just period. Somebody knows that if they make take the slip of faith, or if you don't know, now you will. If you take the slip of faith towards this divine counterpart, there's no way you could ever lose. This person is destined with the star and the will of fortune here. Right here, to be somebody's destined to be abundant, a star, and a winner. But make sure that you're not coming towards this person for those reasons because I'm getting spirit is going to fuck your ass up even worse than they already have for what you've done. I'm getting somebody's learned now. Somebody knows that they can't come to somebody incorrect. They know that. That's why they're going through the shit that they're going through now for the shit that they've done. Somebody, somebody is very intimidated by you and what you know. The high priestess, she she knows all the secrets. She holds all the secrets. She knows exactly what's behind that veil. All that dirt, she knows it. And somebody knows that she knows. But this is someone that, that doesn't always speak. They don't always reveal. This is someone who holds the secrets. And somebody knows that. So they'll be back. And they'll, they'll cook correct because they over here losing, burden, struggling. Uh, I'm getting loss of popularity, loss of uh, maybe even family, friends. This relationship is over. Okay. Somebody somewhere. I'm, I'm getting something about a sexually transmitted disease and a pregnancy. So, you know, I've been getting that out a lot lately. So, I mean, but it's karma season. A lot of people are getting what they put out. A lot of people are reaping the seeds that they sowed or, or the seeds that they planted. And it just is what it is, man. Period. So those are your messages. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video.